another crypto lender in some hot water. Will, take it away. That's right, Zach. And it's not because of a lending scheme or anything of that sort at this moment. It's actually because of AML, uh, KYC laws over in Bulgaria, questions around Nexo Finance's compliance with KYC laws. Uh, according to new reports, especially on Facebook is what we're seeing, actually, there's a uh, Bulgarian government is looking into the KYC compliance of Nexo Finance, which is a pretty large lending provider out there, saying that there might even be some terrorist activity or terrorist linked organizations on top of Nexo Finance. This comes, of course, after a lot of these bigger lenders collapsed during the last year. I can actually throw up the graphic right here in a second. We see that uh, Nexo has a pretty complex scheme in terms of how it gets a lot of its juicy KO or juicy rewards and yield for people who are using the application. And that has led to a lot of people thinking, well, maybe they're the next crypto company to falter. Uh, we see Celsius has collapsed. If we can get that graphic up, now we can see that like there's a pretty complex scheme going on with how these things work here on the right there. It's, it's pretty complex. Uh, so a lot of people have been looking at them saying like, hey, maybe these are the next guys to falter. Uh, maybe this is the next Celsius, the next Voyager. But we're seeing in this story that's a little bit different. Actually, there's more than just uh, risks on the lending side. There's risks with KYC. There's risks with different governments. Nexo Finance put out a few statements this morning, actually taking to Twitter, saying that it's pretty unfortunate that Bulgarian police have moved so aggressively against them, saying that it's uh, unfair in a lot of different ways. Jen, I want to throw this story over to you, get your take on what's happening here. So I zeroed in on what the Attorney General said. He said that evidence has been collected that a person who used the platform and transferred cryptocurrencies has been officially declared a terrorist financing person. I think that, you know, I would love to hear more information here. Um, when did this person use the platform? Did they provide authentic documentation and authentic information in, in the KYC process? Uh, it, they said that authorities kind of bombarded the office. It sounds a little bit extreme under the guise of uh, tax and money laundering. The use of the word terrorist just reminds me to what we hear in what we hear in North America, right? When a lot of our politicians talk about investigations into crypto exchanges and crypto lenders right here in North America, they often use the words terrorists and money laundering and tax evasion. And so I wasn't surprised to see that. I want to reference the tweets, the Twitter thread, um, Will, that you brought up in your intro there. Nexo said that they have 30 and more than 30, sorry, AML compliance officers, uh, and they work with Chainalysis to kind of really understand the history of the customers on their platform and where money is coming and going from. And so it will be interesting to see what comes out of here. Un unfortunately, I think that authorities are using what's happening in the industry to act maybe in a way that they wouldn't act if this wasn't a company that interacted with crypto. But Adam, what do you think? It was a rough 2022 for crypto lenders. It looks like 2023 is getting off to a start with, uh, frankly, much of the same thing. Uh, it's, I think, interesting to see that they've survived to this point when many of their competitors in the space had an increasingly difficult time. Again, what we saw kind of in the early days is that people always want to be able to deposit their token somewhere and then Get, earn yield on them, right? Earn more money with the money that they already have. What we saw was that in kind of the, the early days of the bull market, there were lots of opportunities and that was really, really uh, an easier task to deliver on. Companies can make a lot of money doing it. As the bull market kind of wore on, those opportunities sort of wore themselves out and the companies frankly grew too large to do that. So Nexo's somewhat complex scheme uh, just by not having kind of run into those problems, I think demonstrates that they've done a somewhat better job or at least not a catastrophically bad job as perhaps some of the other uh, companies that are out there uh, who did not survive, you know, uh, have now gotten to this point. So it's interesting to see this. I think, again, the key word in all of this is allegations. Um, you know, at the point that we actually start to see some evidence come forward, uh, Jen, what you said there in terms of the, the you know, purported, uh, you know, thing that they did wrong, that feels like that's a real small issue to me uh, relative to the scope of the platform and the overall project. So I'm kind of in a wait and see mode on this one, curious to see what evidence comes out and I'll make a decision in terms of how I feel about it at that point. Zach, what do you think? I was going to say, you know, for this to be the Nexo headline is actually pretty good for Nexo, right? Everyone's been speculating that Nexo was potentially the next crypto lender to collapse. Hey, if some overzealous Bulgarian authorities are... Uh, bringing up these charges and raiding the office on um, potential AML uh, or anti-terrorist financing charges, like 
that could be the least of their worries, I think, in this broader environment where a lot of crypto lenders took on extremely risky behaviors and ultimately led to their downfall from Genesis to Celsius, you name it, BlockFi, right? These folks are in, are, in, are in dire straits. And if Nexo is just dealing, and it's funny to say that, just dealing with this Bulgarian pro from law enforcement authorities over there, maybe that's a good sign relative to the broader state of the crypto lending industry. CeFi is blowing up. And right now, Nexo is still standing somehow. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if this uh, leads to their undoing or if this is just something that's a bit more procedural um, as it relates to complying with money laundering rules.